Um, I'd like to talk to you today about a missing person inquiry where we're looking for Rebecca Minnock and her three-year-old son, Ethan Williams. Um, Rebecca was last seen in the Bridgewater area on the 26th of May, which was a Tuesday, so nearly three weeks ago. What's happened since then is that she is um, evading a court procedure where Ethan has become a ward of courts. Um, I can't comment on the actual details of the court procedure, as you can appreciate, but we need to find Ethan and Rebecca very, very quickly. We've had possible sightings of Ethan and Rebecca in the Cheltenham area, in Gloucestershire, and also in the Birmingham area. We do not think she is local at the moment. So what I'm asking is for friends and family and anybody that might know Rebecca and Ethan to contact us as soon as they can and tell us where she is because as time goes on we're really concerned about the emotional impact this will have on Rebecca and Ethan because the court process cannot be evaded forever and Ethan will have to go back to court um, as a ward of court as a judge has instructed and the court process will then kick in. So please, I'm asking for anybody that has seen Rebecca and Ethan to contact the police on 101 um, or 999, it's very urgent, or through the press office, um, and give us any information you can at all about these two individuals. We'd be eternally grateful. Thank you very much. Is that right? You've been looking for a black Ford Focus. Any, any progress with that? Yes, we know who that vehicle belongs to, and we've actually interviewed that member um, of the public. So that's part of our inquiry. We would you haven't ruled out that that car has been part of this? No, we think the car was used initially to transfer Rebecca from this area to another area. So it's part of our investigation, but we don't think that's, um, that's involved in the investigation anymore. So what you're suggesting is that Rebecca wasn't driving that car? No, Rebecca doesn't drive. Um, she uses public transport a lot. Um, so we're obviously looking for the general public to see if they can see Rebecca and her son Ethan, maybe on trains, buses. Um, those sort of transport because she hasn't got a car so probably won't be driving herself anywhere. It's now been three weeks where Rebecca knows that she is hiding from the court process. Um, this can't go on forever and I am concerned about what emotional impact this will have on Rebecca herself and her three-year-old child and also Ethan's father who, who Ethan has been awarded to uh, under, as a ward of court.